Okay, don't get me wrong, I enjoy huge acting performances that are dramatic and far from subtle, however, if I was going to choose my favourite performances, they would all be subtle ones. I think we live in a day and age where people enjoy the huge performances where actors make enormous physical changes and bold character choices, but people no longer appreciate the nuances of acting as much as they used to. Modern moviegoers would much prefer a performance like Heath Ledger's Joker over any Laurence Olivier performance from decades prior. However, it doesn't mean that these subtle performances are worse, and in this video essay, I want to go over some of my favourite subtle performances by actors to date. Firstly, I will go over Robert De Niro's performance in Taxi Driver, as to me, this is one of the few movies I would classify as perfect, and De Niro's performance as Travis Bickle is a big reason for this. I love watching big characters character arcs and Travis's slow descent into madness is truly a masterclass in acting and writing. Todd Phillips' recent Joker movie was hugely inspired by Taxi Driver, however what makes Travis a better performance than Arthur Fleck is how subtle the change was. In Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, who was one of the greatest actors to ever gift the screen, made a lot of big physical choices and vocal choices, whereas Travis, played by De Niro, was a lot more normal and monotone in his characteristics. However, you get the exact same effect by the end of the movie, as his character has gone completely insane, yet you didn't really notice the change until the end, as it was slowly building throughout the movie, whereas in Joker you vividly see the moment he changes. And I'm not saying that's worse, it's just not my preference as I like to be lulled into a story to where I don't notice the arc until it's over, as that's a lot more like real life to me, and means that I was more invested in the character as I didn't step out and see the change throughout the film. The second subtle performance I want to go over is Timothy Chalamet's performance in Call Me By Your Name. This is easily the most masterful performance by a young actor in the modern era. The subtle, physical, yet realistic choices Timothy made to portray Elio falling in love was absolutely incredible. And what makes this performance really stand out to me was how free Chalamet was when he was playing Elio. Usually when an actor is completely freed, they make bold choices and go big in the performance due to there being no restrictions, but Timothy Chalamet was free within himself to become the character, which meant he adopted the character's restrictions and was tense and subtle due to the character not being free, but in order for Timothy Chalamet to adopt the character's restrictions and shackles, he had to be free within himself. Himself, which is something I only see actors with 30 plus years experience do, however Timothy Chalamet did it perfectly in Call Me By Your Name. Another reason this performance was so magical was how much perspective Timothy had in this movie. He made choices in scene 5 that he knew would impact scene 25, and it really helped his character development. This is an acting choice that was talked about by Stanislavski, where you know to be small throughout most scenes, so when you go big in one scene, it has more of an impact. However, it's harder to implement than most think, yet Timothy Chalamet did it masterfully in his performance as Elio. Lastly, this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't go over Adam Driver's performance in Patterson. This is a movie without a plot or any interesting story structure, as it just follows a regular bus driver who likes writing poetry throughout his average week, and there is no climax or antagonist. So the whole movie was riding on the fact that Adam Driver's character Patterson would have to be interesting. Yet Adam Driver kept his performance subtle and gentle, which you would least expect as you would think he would want to be big and bold to make the movie interesting. However, he kept it small, and to be honest, that was more interesting to me and helped make the movie more humane and balanced as a story. And in a way, allowed us to relate to the character because he was so average, he was just like us in the audience. But what makes this performance one of the greatest subtle performances of all time is the risk he took to play the character the way he did. It could have easily gone down as one of the most boring and worst performances of all time, yet it did the exact opposite of what anyone would have expected, and only a true genius in the art of acting could have predicted and foreseen that. I hope you guys liked this video and learned something. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video.